day one, week two, let's get shreddy. Hello again everyone and welcome to another video. So it is week two of Get Shreddy. So quick recap, um, i have done our first impressions on Shreddy week one. It was a killer, not gonna lie. Um, I'm excited for week two, it is uh, day one of week two. I am gonna be doing the booty workout, so it's gonna hit the glutes. So ready for this week looking forward to it even though i know it's going to be hard and challenging but you know that is the point um as well as a workout on this video i'm going to be showing the food side of the app so then um doing a full day of eating from the app Those medical pills are push me Oh, 
five sets to see as many reps as possible. Like yeah, as many reps as cool, yeah, after as that hard. Yeah. Like we done one real hamstring exercise and my ham I can feel it. Like yeah, done, ready to go Got home. <laughs> everyone so i'm home ready um just a quick recap from today it was such a hard workout like yeah i burned just under 800 active calories i got the apple watch by the way um series three because i said last time i was getting the huawei watch long story short got the apple it's so much better so i can finally track my workouts properly it's more accurate and everything so if the rest of the week is anything like this week it's gonna be a killer and i am ready like for the challenge to do well so hopefully when i get to week four and i'll do my measurements my weight hopefully i make some progress so i'm going to be including a full day of eating from the app um all the recommended meals so i'll go through the meals with you and how it looks on the app and everything and show you what I'm having um, next so catch up with you later good morning everyone so today's Friday and I'm doing a full day of eating from the shreddy app so I'm just gonna have a look first things first I you can change every meal so you can swap up a meal in the list for something else so I kind of picked from the list every meal <clears throat> So next to every day, um, every workout, there's meals. So you've got your full day, every single day, seven days a week. So um, I'm going for smashed avo on toast for breakfast. I'll show you that. Um, I won't go through the whole day. I'm just going to show you the whole day. So I've got breakfast, mid-morning snack, lunch, another snack, and then dinner. Now, I never have a mid-morning snack, so I'm not going to force myself to eat one. I'll have breakfast, lunch, snack and dinner. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to get straight into the video, show you what I'm having and let's start with breakfast. Just want to say, before we start the day, I've already got some thoughts and some, I don't know, criticism. But I'm going to leave all that until the end of the video, until I finish the full day of eating. Um, but what I will say now is... They don't know my goals. They don't know what kind of calories I want to eat. Like, they haven't asked me if I want to eat in maintenance, gain weight, lose weight. It's just like one kind of meal plan suits all, which probably isn't the best. That just That's not going to work for everyone, is it? But, um, you know... <clears throat> But, you know, I'm going to give it a go anyway. I'm still going to do the full day of eating. It does look like nice foods on here. And, yeah, I am looking forward to it. So, yeah, let's start with breakfast. This is definitely, definitely not something that I'd usually eat. Um, I should eat more veggie options, I know I should. And I do like falafels, is that how you say it? I don't even know. So I'm gonna try it now and I'll let you know what I think. So I just got a bit of everything all in one just to see how it is. Mm. It's actually really nice. I wouldn't have put this combo combo together 
yeah it's nice um i would have this again so yeah nice lunch it is quarter to four now so i'm just having a snack their snack plate um is like 300 calories worth of fruit so i think it's quite a big plate of fruit whereas i've just got an apple pineapple and grape snack yeah which is obviously a lot less than what they are saying to have but i don't want to eat a whole big plate of god i look like i've got a black eye it's just me with no makeup <laughs> um yeah i don't want to eat some massive plate of fruit at this time because i'll be having my dinner in probably two hours or something so yeah i'm gonna have this now and i'll see you when i have my dinner So I'm just prepping dinner now, I'm having the jacket potato and cheesy beans like it says on the app. So oven baked jacket potato, I just use fry light, salt and pepper and I'm just going to have normal baked beans and cheddar so I'll show you when it's all done. So here's dinner done, just normal cheese, like normal cheddar cheese, beans and the jacket potato. So that is a full day of eating from the Shreddy app. What they recommend exactly, almost 100% every single meal was what I done. But, so I was Googling. Well, I was thinking, why is everything vegan or vegetarian? Why is there no meat options? I thought I, fa I, thought I found two meat options, which was spag bulb and a burger. But when I clicked on it, there were vegan meatballs, vegan cheese. Even that jacket potato was recommended for vegan cheese. And I thought, have I clicked that I'm vegan somewhere? And I didn't know. But it isn't. I think because Grace, who created the app, is vegan... So she believes in that lifestyle, which is fine. I just find it a bit strange that one guide, like one set of recipes fits all because not everyone wants to eat vegan, vegetarian every single day. So that is definitely a downfall just because I eat meat. And yeah, I should probably eat less meat, but you know, everyone has got their own preference. So... As you've seen, I skipped the morning snack. I never have a morning snack, so I'm not going to force myself to eat it. So my calories and macros I'll put here were 1,739 calories, 60 grams of protein, 246 grams of carbs, and 55 grams of fat. Now, they don't know what my goals are. I mean, that is kind of a little bit low calorie. My calorie goal I'll put here, and all my macro goals like I'll put here as well. So I don't really like to have more than 200 grams of carbs per day. Um, that still is a good amount of carbs for me. I'm not saying like low carb diet or anything, but that's just what works for me. And I usually have more than 100 grams of protein a day, or that's like my goal. And I only had 60 grams today. And yeah, the fat's a bit low, but you know, that's fine. I don't usually go crazy high on fat myself anyway. So yeah, it's a little bit restrictive if you say because it's all vegan veggie and um my protein is a bit lower than what i like and the carbs are a bit high to what i like so if i'm honest i probably won't be following the shreddy nutrition side of things just for those reasons um if they had more options and like goal options then yeah that would be good but for me i just think it's not for me basically yeah so um i've gone for everything from the food i'll catch up with you tomorrow for my overall thoughts and anything that i've missed out um for the week so it is the end of week two um i'm just going to go through some of my thoughts and um impressions from the food the nutrition part of it from this week yeah, so if I'm honest, I won't be following the, the nutrition side of the guide just because, one, I eat meat, and even though I could eat more veggie options, it, some of it seemed a bit complicated, 
or like kind of a lot of ingredients more than what I would usually do so yeah it kind of isn't for me the nutrition side but I am glad that I gave it a go and tried it but overall on the week I haven't skipped any workouts I haven't changed any of the workouts that were planned and yeah it's been a hard week <laughs> so my leg days of like I'm aching like every day every single day I've been aching the only day that like I don't mind and it isn't like an absolute killer is the full body day which I did on Wednesday I like to do that mid middle of the week I didn't do all of the finishers every day either I think I said last week when it's a leg day I don't do the finisher because I'm so exhausted from my leg day like doing five sets and pyramid sets and then like I'm exhausting the muscle by doing as many reps as possible I just can't get it find it in me to do the finisher so that isn't happening on leg days just being honest but I am trying to do the finishers um, on upper body days the full body day I'll do it and just when I can do it I'll do it but it's not every single session just saying so I am enjoying the app so far I know it's only the end of week two thank you for watching everyone I hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe if you did and I'll see you next week for week three